Yo, shout out to my favorite broker, Osprey. <laughs> I love this hoodie. If I can finally wear it. I know they've probably been dying to watch a video of me wearing the hoodie. So, hey, Osprey, if you're watching this, I'm finally wearing it because now it's actually cold outside. Anyways, in today's video, I want to talk about how much money you need to have if you actually want to start making a living from trading. The most popular deposit that everyone does when they first get started is around $100. $100, $500, or $1,000. These are the three common first type of deposits beginners make. Now, I also want to mention a misunderstanding that a lot of beginners have. One of the misunderstandings is that if they deposit $500, they're going to grow that account into you know, $50,000, $100,000. And chances are you're not going to do that because every beginner, when they make their first deposit, will lose all of that money. There's a saying, and it goes like this, only invest what you're willing to lose. And there's a reason for that. It's because when you first get started in trading, you will lose 100% of your deposit. It doesn't matter if it's $100, $500, or $1,000. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose all of your money. My first deposit into a Forex brokerage was about $100. I'm never going to forget. I lost that $100 the next day. I got into three trades and I lost all three trades. And it's funny, after those trades hit my stop loss, all of them actually reversed to take profit. And I was so upset. And I was like, oh man, if I wouldn't have had that stop loss, blah, blah, blah. And I was making all these excuses. It was it was such a funny time. So every time I see people on social media below their accounts, like 100 bucks or 200 bucks. You know, it just reminds me of when I first got started because, you know, we all start at that point. We all start at that point with only a hundred bucks or 500 bucks and we lose it. We get upset. We get emotional. Then, you know, we retry. We try again and then we blow another account. We try again. And it's, this re and it's this repeating cycle until we actually get it down and we actually become consistent with our strategy. I've been trading now for five years and I didn't actually start making real money. I'm talking about $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month trading. I didn't actually start seeing those results until I had about thirty dollars to $50,000 in my account. This is why when a lot of people reach out to me on social media, mainly Instagram, they always ask me, how much should I get started in my account? Well, the answer is always the same. It's what is your goal? What is your short-term goal? What is your long-term goal? Are you looking to do this as a retirement account? So do you want to put $10,000 into an account and grow it to you know, $100,000 in five, 10 years? Do you want to grow it to a million bucks? Like, What is your goal? Once you identify your goal, then it's a lot easier to determine how much you should deposit for your first time. One thing you'll notice about my content is I never tell people how much you need to deposit because that's for you to decide. That's why I said you need to determine what is your goal. So what I like to look at it is like this. If you have a short term mindset, then most likely you're going to deposit a hundred to five hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars. Anything under ten thousand dollars is pretty much a short term way of looking at the market. Now, I understand that not everybody just has the ability to deposit five or ten thousand dollars. I'm fully aware of that. We all have to start from somewhere. We all have to start off small with, it's called a micro account. So anything under $1,000 is pretty much considered a micro account. Now, if you have a long-term mindset, if you're really focusing on the long-term growth of your account, and if you actually want to make real money, then the bare minimum is 10,000. But even at that point, if you're going to utilize proper risk management, $10,000 is still considered a small amount of money. Now, I'm fully aware that $10,000 is not considered a small amount of money whatsoever by any means. You can do a lot with $10,000, but you have to remember the Forex market is a six to seven trillion dollar per day market. That means on a daily basis that the market is moving from Sunday market open to Friday market close. There's at least six to seven trillion dollars fluctuating throughout the market every single day of every single second. I said that backward. It's every second of every day. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. So the way I look at it is if you want to go full time and if you want to truly make money trading, $50,000 to $100,000 should be the amount of money you have in your trading account. This is why I say all the time that trading is not for everyone. Trading is not designed to help every single person on this planet because not everyone is willing to put that much money at risk in the market. This is also why I trade based off of divergence because it's been known to be one of the most successful trading strategies out there. If you don't watch my previous videos, I teach for free divergence trading, hidden divergences, regular divergences, and you can pretty much see me growing those accounts from a small amount to a bigger amount. And, you know, this is also why I have my uh, my FX book so people can keep track of that from now on so people can see the growth of my account by divergence trading. Fun fact about trading divergence is that there's a lot of actual institutions and hedge funds that actually use divergence as part of their trading strategy. And that's something I didn't realize until a few months ago. I was chatting with my buddy who actually has a hedge fund worth of $50 million. And he was telling me, yeah, Justin, you know, it's pretty cool how you discover divergence on your own because we actually use divergence as part of our trading strategy. And the moment he told me that my eyes blew up. I was like, what? You use divergence too? So here's my personal opinion. If you're looking to just make money overnight, 
don't even get involved with Forex. If you're looking to grow your account long term, you can pretty much start off with any amount of money because it's about the long term results. But if you're looking to take this into a full time career path, anything under $50,000 is going to be considered a very little amount. Technically, Anything under $100,000 is still considered a very small amount of money, but because like I said before, the Forex market is a six to seven trillion, not billion, stock market is billion, the Forex market is trillion. Now the Forex market itself does not include cryptocurrencies, that's a separate market, but what I'm saying is the Forex market itself is in the trillions. So $1 million is like stepping on an ant. You don't even realize it, but as you're walking around outside, you're stepping on hundreds of ants every day and you just killed them. And that's us. That's me. That's you. Every single person watching this video is considered an ant in this industry. So those are my thoughts. You need to identify what is your personal goal. What is your game plan in this market? If your goal is to make a lot of money, well, then guess what? You're going to have to put down a lot of money. Yes, there are people out there who have been able to turn small accounts into very large accounts. I have personally seen people turn a $500 account into $400,000, but you have to remember just because he can do it doesn't mean you will. I am a big believer that if other people can do it, so can you. So yes, you also have the ability to turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money, but it's not going to happen to everyone. That only happens to the 0.0000001% of traders that come into this industry. So if you want to make a lot of money long-term, you got to put down a lot of money. If you don't have a lot of money, save up your money go get a job start a business do something where you can save money on the side i'm never going to forget the first time i saved up enough money to deposit ten thousand dollars in my trading account that felt amazing that was the first time i ever had ten thousand dollars and i was trading i was making all this money it, it just felt amazing then once i had enough money to put twenty thousand then thirty thousand and i was able to grow and you know my main account that i don't share with people I'm able to grow and consistently live off that money. I was able to trade, withdraw, pay off my car, save up a lot of money in the bank. It gets to that point where you can save a lot of money and make a lot of money once you have more than fifty to $100,000 in your trading account. So that right there, that's my personal opinion on how much money you need to have in your trading account. It doesn't really come down to the exact dollar amount. It comes down to your mindset and what your goal is long-term for this industry. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.